Welcome to Adventure Lunch, San Antonio's only adventurous lunch program specializing in the art of lunch lunchfotainment. I'm Jared Kingery. And I'm Bob Gambert. AKA Cyber Bob. That's right. Where do we go this week? We went uh, to uh, what you tell me is the west side. The west side. It's south of downtown, but also west of downtown. It's a place right. called the Malt House. It's actually at 115 over on Zarzamora, South Zarzamora The Street. Malt House. This is a picture of the Malt House from the street. Old building, uh, been around since 1949. We saw this on the way to Gallo Pizzeria a few Which months was ago. fantastic. I cannot recommend Gallo P P uh, Pizzeria enough. And uh, great people there, wonderful establishment. Right. So we drove by, anyway. and I think we immediately said, hey, that place looks kind of cool. Because from the outside, I mean, show them, show them what a picture of the looks, outside of the place looks this like. Is, this is the picture. This is you investigating, you, you looking at it. It looks like an old, I mean, it is an old building, like an old, cool sort of Diner, drive-in combo. Something you'd see like it. I don't know, Happy Days, uh, 50s style thing. And I, what you saw me doing there is I, spot, I spotted a sign. They have a sign on the outside of the door, of, of the building. Uh, a hamburger special. It's a hamburger, it's fries, and a medium drink for $2.85. That, is, that is a quarter pound hamburger. You can't get that at McDonald's. You cannot get that at McDonald's. You'd pay three bucks for that. Easy. You get yeah, yeah, so this I mean, was I mean I, so naturally I gotta I've gotta try this right? right so we walk in it's odd nobody uh, no sign says uh, please seat yourself nobody we, you walk in and you feel like you almost feel like you're an outsider right well we're not from the west side we didn't grow up on the west side we don't spend a lot of time I over walk there. into a restaurant I feel like someone should greet me I feel like someone should at least smile at me or something you know what right. I mean but and so you know we walked up and say how does this work right so we went and sat ourselves um, and you straight away. We're at the malt house straight away. First thing you do, you gotta order a malt, right? You gotta order a malt. And this is the menu you get. And uh, it's called the malt house. You could see, this is this is what you think of as a malt, right? In a glass like this. Well, what, what? okay, what? Let's let's talk more about the malt later. I ordered okay. a malt. Okay, you ordered, I ordered a malt. A malt. It came to me. I'm not gonna tell you about how okay. I talked about all it. Right, all right, all right. A little a little deep tease there. We the will. Malt. I'm going to talk. And, and much more depth about the malt okay. later. All right. Uh, so straight away, they bring you a basket of chips. All right. So already the place has, and we should have known this right at the back, but it, it's like a Mexican restaurant. You know what it's I mean? A, it's a Mexican uh, American restaurant, I think they call it. Yeah, Mexican yeah. American. But it, it, you know, it had. They bring you some chips. That 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 is classic. It's a classic uh, Mexican restaurant right, uh, style. Right. Chips, fine. Mm -hmm. Nothing special. They, uh, they, I mean, well, they weren't. They weren't bad. They weren't bad. They weren't. The uh, salsa wasn't bad. All right, so what did you order? What did you order? I ordered the uh, one of the specials of the day was chicken fried chicken, and I love a good diner chicken fried chicken, and this this really didn't disappoint. It's not the best one I've had, it's not the worst one I've had, but it it was good. It was what caught my eye on this, and I saw it in the people that are is the potatoes have a peculiar yellow color. They're kind of buttery. They may do some sort of coloring, sort of like at um, Bun and Barrel, where the onion yeah. rings had an egg wash. Egg wash. Egg, egg wash. wash. That was a new uh, color for us. New color. The the cool part, one of the cool parts is the butter, you can see, comes in those little... Uh, tabs of butter. Tabs of butter between wax pieces of wax paper. We love that. I don't know why, uh, in the picture you'll see, I don't know why it came with hamburger fixings. Like, my theory is that you make a sandwich out of this if you but want. But those rolls are tiny and crappy. There's not enough roll there to make a sandwich. It came with a pile of lettuce. Tomatoes, onions, well, and it, pickles. It, it's sandwich fixings. Right, but there's not there's nothing there to make a sandwich. And I wouldn't it's it's a weird combo for 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 something you're eating with a fork. I mean, so you, ate, you ate it traditionally right. and you liked it? I did, I did. It wasn't bad. Um, yeah. I didn't the, try it for some it was, reason. It was it was yeah, it was it was, it was less than five bucks. It was it was four forty five for the meal. Here's one thing we're gonna say straight up. Okay. Great deal here. I mean you, you, you there's there is, uh, you're not gonna spend a lot of money when you go to right. the malt house. The the largest expense was your malt, I think. That was the most expensive. It was like $3. Well, yeah. okay, it was the second most expensive after mine. And I got the medium. I can't imagine what the largest is. I know. Like. All right, and so, uh, speaking I, of cheap food, I got the $2.85 burger special. It's supposed to be a quarter pounder hamburger with uh, fries and a medium drink. First right. of all, the drink was perfect. Right. Because you know I'm kind of a snob when it comes yes. to, to yes. sodas in a store. Yes, yes, yes. Because yes. I never feel like to get the carbonation and syrup uh, right. They had it perfect. By it the way, a Pepsi they, product. They have Pepsi, not Coke. Pepsi. So if, you have, if you're one of those people that prefers Coke, sorry. So this is the burger. A little uninspiring. Let's say that. All right. right? So right I, I, I opened the burger up. I looked at the patty. First of all, it was burned. Second of all, you know, for breakfast sometimes if you order a sausage, it looked like a sausage. It did look like a Jimmy only, Dean breakfast sausage. Only a Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage is thicker. 
All right. <laughs> this this was extremely thin, burnt, and small. I mean, literally, I think it was about this big around. Would okay. that be about right? Would that yeah, be about that, right? That's pretty. All right. That's pretty accurate. And, and and it was loaded up with lettuce. The bun was okay. And then my the fries. I got crinkle fries with it, and they were cold. And they were cold. Crinkle fries, cold. It's like you're in a school cafeteria. But it was cheap. And I think that's what they're going for. That's the arrangement that, that I think that they have. That's why they've been in business since 1949. They're cheap food. You go in expecting cheap food. I you talked to all my friends who grew up in the, in the, in the area there. I our, said, our mutual friend Michael, right? Michael, a.k.a. You call him Huggy Bear. Huggy I don't Bear know for no, I don't know no real reason, really. He's but uh, I, I said to him, hey, we went to uh, the malt house. He was like, oh, yeah. Cheap food! Right, exactly, <laughs> I, mean, exactly. I thought he was going to say something good about the food, but he didn't. He just said cheap food. So, and that's the agreement. So, okay, but in an effort to find something that, like the hidden gem, which is what we were really looking for in this, you went to Yelp. I, I'm trying to stay positive. Because, right. you know, Adventure Lunch, what we try to do is tell you the best things it's about It's lunch fotainment. Right. And, it's, and not, so it's not lunch We're not cynicism. here to just, like, to, to, to rip on a place or something. We want to tell you what's best. So I, I went on Yelp real quick, and I saw... Uh, Anything positive that was said was said about a thing called the crispy dog. Crispy dog. So you ordered the crispy dog. I, well, I went to the menu and I looked all over it's for the crispy the dog. It's not on it's the like menu. It's like a secret menu item. It's a se like it is an in and out burger. Yeah. Uh, and so, so anyway, show show what the crispy dog. The crispy looks like. dog. Is, Explain the crispy. The crispy dog. dog is a a hot dog wrapped in a corn tortilla and deep fried right. and blammo. That's it. All right. When they first bring it to your table, you can't eat it. It was still kind of, it was still kind of soft because it's, it was still it's just straight it, out of the fryer, right? Yeah. And so it hadn't had a time to become crunchy yet. So you have to let it sit for a minute or two to become crunchy. Right. And then it, you know, because it's got the tortilla, it's got the okay. crunch on the outside, and it's just a hot dog. It's a hot dog wrapped in a in a corn tortilla. <laughs> no seasoning. No nothing. They, uh, a package they, of mustard. A packet of mustard. I don't know. I don't know what the, I don't know what the appeal was. I, if I was at a carnival, maybe. Uh, this certainly not a not a signature menu item that I would go I would, after. I was a little surprised that people were rec recommending it on Yelp. Okay, it's uh, disappointing. Disappointing. Yeah. Uh, again, cheap. It was a dollar. All right. So let's let's talk about my malt. The malt. Here, this is a picture of the malt. Look, uh, I've done some research on the way they, they they serve the malt, and I can't find anybody that does it this way. Okay. Let me, let me explain what the malt. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, you first of all, it's not in the glass you expect. Right, it the, comes in a big styrofoam cup, big giant styrofoam cup, and all it is 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 a styrofoam cup full of soft serve vanilla ice cream with some chocolate syrup on top. Now, I would think since they call it a malt, they would put some malt powder on there. I I couldn't taste the malt. Okay, powder. so the the tips you got on Yelp was to order it first, right, and let it melt. Right, did it ever get better? Uh, I took a, I tried it uh, right off the bat. Uh, let it melt a little bit, stir it up. They give you, a, they just give you a spoon. They don't even give you a, 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 a straw. A, a was it? How was it? Uh, we like, we got to break it down. How was it? How did it end up? Disappointing? Good? What? I. It's not a malt. Okay. They call it a malt. It's just ice cream with some syrup on it. Really, it's not a. It's not a shake. It's not. It's a malt. not a malt. It's a. It's a frosty that hasn't. It's been a mixed big up. old cup of ice cream. Okay. That's all it is. Right. One last thing about the malt house. We're sitting deep inside the restaurant. You know, way far away from the door. Look, I'm trying to stay positive. I'm trying and, to stay positive. And we're approached by a, by a bum. A no bum one. goes from table to table asking people for money. For money. You know, for whatever reason. They always have and some... You know, some, fine, yeah, whatever. whatever. I, I don't know the man's story. But here's it. The servers. She, he's actually, like, walking around the, the, the waitresses there. The wait staff knows that this guy is going from table to table, bumming money from people, and, and they, ignore him. Right. Just ignore him. So, not, not a nice capper to our meal. No. Uh, bottom. Let's bottom line the malt house here. It's not someplace I'll ever return to, right? For any yeah, reason. But whatsoever. if you are looking for something cheap, here's the agreement with with the West Side. Okay. With, uh, from what we told our, our mutual friend Michael and me, having had the fried chicken, try the fried chicken. Yeah, it's I, cheap. Uh, it's yeah. it's tasty. Yeah, fried chicken. Stay away from the burger. Uh, malt. If you want some ice cream. Um, <laughs> like I said, you're not going to spend the a lot of money. The beverage has the perfect uh, mixture of. Uh, you're not going to spend a lot of money. Next week. Next week, we don't know yet. No. Oh, we're, we do know. Do on we? Tuesday afternoon at about two thirty or so. Okay. We're gonna go over to uh, Main Street. Main Street. Main Street Pizza on Main, Main Street. Yeah. Your sack. Uh, over by Hogwild. By Hogwild. Uh, if you need to reach us, you can contact us on Twitter at Lunchfotainment. And feel free to join us. Feel free to join us. Uh, you can also email us lunchfotainment at gmail.com. So until next week, have an adventurous, adventurous lunch. lunch.